The goal of this activity is to really loosen up the hips and the ankles. Here's what you're going to do. Get something like a bar, or if you're at home, you're going to do this on a kitchen sink. You're going to grip the kitchen sink. Here's what you want to do for your squat setup. You want your feet about hip width apart with the mini band above the knees. You're going to soften the knees, so let them bend. Exhale. Shift your weight back without straightening your knees. You got a little bit of weight on your heels. Then you're going to just do a very subtle, folks, very subtle tuck. Drop down into the squat. Hold position. Now there, you're going to do some ankle movements without moving your knees. When you inhale, you want weight on your outside heels. When you exhale, you want weight on your inside heels while keeping the knees fixed. So if you watch me from this backside view, I'll exaggerate. The outside heel action looks like that. The inhale is that. That's the movement. Or excuse me. The inhale is on the outside heels. The exhale is going to be on the inside heels, just like that. In terms of the amount of movement, it's very subtle. I feel the outside heels. Exhale, I feel the inside. All right? So to recap, grab the bar or the sink. Unlock the knees. Exhale. Reach. Very subtle tuck. Drop down. From here, keeping the knees fixed. It's inhale, outside heels. Exhale, inside heels. And come on up. And that's how it's done. Give it a shot.